Hi guys, this is Abhijit from bustingjemain.com and in this video, we will be checking out the methods of preparation of benzene. This question was asked by Jay and he wanted me to show some of the methods by which benzene can be prepared. So I have picked out three important methods for a preparation of benzene that I find very useful when you are preparing for JEE or other entrance examinations. So let us check those out one by one. Alright, let's look at the first method, trimerization of ethane. What is trimerization? We will be having three molecules of ethane and we will use them to produce benzene. Let us see how in the reaction equation. So, I will be having ethane and C2H2 and we will be having three molecules and then we will be producing C6H6 that is benzene. So, how does that happen? You know, it, its structure, it will tra transform into a ring like structure like this from something which is linear. So, how does this transformation take place? Well, first we use this red hot copper tube. What is red hot? Guys, whenever you see something given as red hot, then that means that the temperature is very very high and at high temperature reactions usually follow the free radical mechanism. I will show you more in just a moment. So my guess would be that this reaction is going to follow the free radical mechanism. Let us see how. So let's look at the mechanism of the reaction. We will start with an ethane molecule C triple bond C H and H. When we heat it to a red hot copper tube we will get something that looks like this. Each of the carbon atom now has an electron. How does that happen? Let us look at this molecule closely. You will see three bonds here. When heated to a very high temperature, one of these bonds break and one electron goes to this carbon atom and the other electron goes to this carbon atom and that is how we get that free radical C double bond C H H and each carbon atom has an electron. Now how many uh, molecules did we have? 3 right? So they will arrange themselves in this fashion double bond C, C double bond C, C double bond C. Each of these carbon atoms has a hydrogen also. So I will just draw them. That is right and each carbon atom has an electron. Let us draw it this way. And what happens when two electrons come closer? We have a bond. And that is how you get a ring like structure which we draw like this. double bond here, a double bond here and a double bond here. That is how we get benzene. Alright, let us take a look at the second method that is using phenol with zinc dust. So what we have is phenol which looks like this and we add powdered zinc or zinc dust to it and then we get benzene as the product. Now how did that happen? So what happens here is first zinc ionizes and gives you Zn2 plus plus 2 electrons. Now why do I say that? By looking at the side product that is ZnO 
here oxidation state of zinc is plus 2. Okay. Now remember it will be important to count these electrons because these electrons are what will carry out this reaction. How? Let us see. First, one of the electrons attacks phenol. Actually, it attacks the hydrogen attached with the oxygen. This electron comes here and this bond breaks and we get a phenoxide ion along with H radical. Now, this free radicals are highly reactive species. So, this H radical goes here and attacks the carbon atom at this place. This results in the cleavage of this bond and we get benzene plus O minus which is very very unstable. Now, what happens is this O minus takes the extra electron remember we produced 2 from zinc to become O 2 minus and then it goes to Z n 2 plus to form Z n O that is how the reaction proceeds. Okay, let us check out the third and final method for this video that is decarboxylation. Now, decarboxylation is very very important. Why? Because questions are often asked in JEE and medical exams from this particular reaction. The mechanism of this reaction is not clearly known, but it is very easy to remember. So, I will just write it down and tell you what to do. So, what we do is we start with an acid that contains the benzene ring. For example, the benzoic acid and write its salt like this. To this, we add some base and some lime. Together, this is known as soda lime. And let me just clear a little bit here so that we are not confused. Okay. Now, when this acid salt is heated with soda lime, this entire group here is removed and what we get is benzene. That is what you need to remember. Whenever you see this, just think decarboxylation. So, that was all about preparation of benzene. Thanks a lot to Jay for asking that question. Guys, you can also get your doubts solved and questions answered by just posting your question in the comments box below or you can go to our uh, Facebook page and drop us a message or you can visit our website. I really would like you to check out our website. It has got lots of content about uh, JE preparation and helpful tips that can uh, improve your JE score. So, that is all. Thank you guys for watching this video and if you liked it, please subscribe.